Hi, my name is Mackenzie Delahunty and I work here at UTS. Today I'm going to show you a finger mark development compound that we use in forensic science here called ninhydrin. Now ninhydrin was discovered by Siegfried Ruhmann and what he found is that when people touched this compound their fingers actually turned purple. This purple colour was later characterised and called Ruhmann's purple. Ninhydrin has been used by law enforcement agencies around the world to develop fingerprints on paper since 1954. So, the ninhydrin actually reacts with the amino acids that are secreted by our skin and are contained within our sweat. So what I'm going to show you today is we're going to put some fingerprints down, we're going to develop them, and then we're going to see what comes up. To develop anything with ninhydrin, what we need to do is actually get it into a liquid so we can soak our evidence items in it. Here we have our ninhydrin, the solid, dissolved into some different solvents to make our stock solution. We then mix our stock solution with a carrier solvent in a prescribed amount to get our ninhydrin working solution. Now this is what we're actually going to soak our evidence item in. So I'm taking three fingers and I'm going to place them on the paper. Now as you can see, because I have fingerprint residue on my fingers, the paper actually sticks to my hand. Uh, and that's what goes into the paper and that's what we're going to be developing. Now whenever we work in finger mark research, we make sure that we wear cotton gloves underneath our other nitrile gloves. The reason that we do this is so that now when I handle the paper, I'm not actually transferring any finger marks from my hands onto the paper that I'm going to develop. That's obviously very important when you are working at, with evidence items because you don't want the finger marks from the laboratory technician getting onto your evidence. So to develop our sample, we're going to pour our ninhydrin working solution into our development tray. We're then going to take our sample using some tweezers so that the solvents don't eat through our gloves and just swish it about in the tray. We only briefly immerse it because we just want the paper to be in there long enough just to get a little bit wet. Then we take it out and we just allow it to drip dry and then we can hold it for a second. If we wave it, all of the solvents that have just soaked into the paper will come off and we will be ready to continue development. Now what we actually normally do is we leave our samples to develop for 24 to 48 hours to wait and see if this ribbon's purple colour is going to occur. However, to accelerate development, what we can actually do is we can put our sample into the oven. So 20 minutes in the oven and we actually have a beautiful sample here. What we can see is that the ninhydrin has reacted with the amino acids in the fingerprint residue and given us this beautiful Rubens purple colour. We can then take this finger mark, if it were evidence, and compare it to any suspects we might have for the crime or to our national fingerprint identification database. Thank you.